Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing really good. I hope your weekend was really a nice one. We had a lot of sunshine today. It really felt like spring had finally made its entrance. The kids went out and raked and got up all the walnuts that had laid on the ground. Gonna be some unhappy squirrels and birds. But I'm sure they know where the compost piles are. They'll be able to find them. I wanted to get on here. I, back in 2011, wrote several stories in my blogs about the power that we human beings have. And this is something that I've always known for as long as I can remember. Feelings that I've always had from, I think, my beginning. Things that I've tried to share with people that I love quite often to no avail. Things that I say here in YouTube I want all of you to understand that I am who I say I am. All I care about is love and hope and faith. I believe in God. I think to not believe in God would be a horrible sense of emptiness. I don't know how you would have any foundation of hope without believing in a universal creator. I've never been able to look around and not believe. I'm not saying that everyone should follow me and believe as I believe. But I think it's important sometimes to share what we know and I know there is a universal creator that human beings call God, along with many other names. I don't believe in religion. I know that religion is affected by mankind, by human beings. Anything that we seem to touch ends up going sour. So, but I do believe in love, hope, and faith. I believe in hugs. And I share them all the time. I try to share with my family the importance of these things. The importance of caring about one another. Sharing. Rejoicing in the good things. Looking for the good instead of looking for the bad. I believe in the pat on the back. I believe in praise. I know these things are important. Important to the human mind. I've had a lot of people that comment and say wonderful things on my videos. And I love those comments. I sincerely do. I love all the kind words and the votes of confidence. I love the laughter, the joy, the sharing. Sharing of links, of ideas, of thoughts. What I do not like is the negativity. When I see negative, when I see people that boast about hate or dislike or mean thoughts, 
mean thoughts for the world, mean thoughts for other people. I don't like those. They're uncomfortable. I had one person the other day that, for whatever reason, got very nasty. And the harder I tried to talk to them, to make them understand what I was saying, they twisted it and mangled it and was, were just rude and nasty. And I ended up blocking that person, which is totally against who I am. I don't want to block anybody. But it hurt. It actually affected my feelings. It made me want to cry. When all I wanted to do was make them feel whole and happy. I wanted them to understand the importance of love, the importance of hugs, and that it doesn't matter what a person chooses to be in their life, or who they choose to be, how they choose to live. Those aren't the important things. The important things go far deeper. Superficial means nothing. It's the heart that means something. In my blogs, I spoke about getting up and saying first thing in the morning when you do your morning stretch, say, I love you, and just say, I love you. Doesn't matter if there's anybody else there. Perhaps it'll just be the birds that hear it, or the little squirrels, or Mother Earth, or your favorite tree, or a neighbor. Perhaps it's your loved one, or your children, or your favorite pet. Just get up and say, I love you. Let those words go. Say them out loud. Don't hold back. Because those words go out into the world, out into the universe. And they carry all over. I've often talked to people about being kind to strangers, doing kind things, little tiny things. Kids in school, when somebody drops something, bend down, pick it up, hand it back to them. You see somebody that's not feeling well, give them a pat on the back. Let them know that you're there for them. Say a kind word to a teacher, or a boss, or a co-worker. Anybody. To be kind. I go through the videos and I see all the negativity. And it affects me. It affects my body. Every cell in my body. It affects my energy. It affects my thinking. There are certain videos that I'm choosing now not to watch, that I'm pulling away from, because we really need to focus on what matters in order to change our world, in order to change the things that are happening. We have got to change the way we think, the way we feel, and the way we speak. I don't like harsh words. I don't like negativity. I cannot stand hate. Love. Loving one another and accepting each other as we are. Why waste your time putting people down or saying mean things, trying to hurt somebody? Because maybe you hurt inside, or maybe you want to get vengeance, or maybe you think you're better than them, or better than them. 
those things are polluting our entire world. Promoting war, wishing ill on anybody. I don't care if it's somebody in power. I don't care if it's somebody that's laying in the curb way. The wino, the bum, the prostitute, the senator's wife, the president's wife. I don't care who it is. We have no right to say anything mean and vicious and cold and hurtful. Anything negative breeds negative. You want Mother Earth to calm down? You want these storms to let up? You want the sun to shine through? You want the birds to sing? The animals to be healthy? The water to flow clean? You want your family to be happy? You want to be happy? Then promote happy. Promote love. Work on those things. I was born this way. I was born at one time I told my mom and dad that I was born with a heart that was too soft because I can't not like and not love and not forgive because loving, caring, liking, forgiving, feeling generous, generosity, that's who I am. I was born that way. And I know that there are many, many like me that sit back and get frustrated because they can't make the rest of the world understand. I can't even make my own family understand most of the time where I'm coming from. As I told you in another video, I've been called a hippie, a groupie. I think somebody even called me a witch. But that's okay. The hippies promoted love, free love. They handed out flowers. They were flower children. We, we want freedom now. And they had it right all along. It is about love. Not necessarily living in the back of a van and being irresponsible. But they had it right about the love. And for all of you out there in the world, wherever you may be, if you think like me, then in your mind, hold my hand and I'll hold your hand. And every morning, get up and say, I love you. Say it with every ounce of belief and strong energy that you have deep within your spirit, inside your soul. Words. Words are just vibrations that come out. Without the honest feeling inside, they mean nothing. That there's not a human being alive that doesn't need to hear, I love you. That doesn't need a pat on the back or a hug. I give you virtual hugs every day or any time I do a video. But I mean that and I feel that hug. In my comments, I tell you I love you and I send you a hug and I tell you that hope's alive and well because I know it is and I feel it. To all of you that believe like I do, please help. Don't be silent. Get it out. Say it. 
Let the whole world know that you love everybody. That you love everything. We have to get past the negativity. We have to get past it. Mother Earth needs us. Needs the love, the concern, the care. We need it. The human race needs it. Our animals, our fish, our oceans, our seas, our air. Everybody needs love. Everything needs love. We must do this. We can change the energy around us. Hippie talk, groupy talk, crazy talk. I know beyond any shadow of a doubt that what I'm telling you is true. It is time that we focus on the things that are important, the caring for one another, complimenting each other, giving to each other, caring about each other, loving one another, sharing hope, not dismay. Not malice, not hate, not fear. Forgive everyone that has done you wrong. Love everybody. And remember, you can't just say, I'm sorry, or I forgive you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. No. You have to feel it inside. Reach inside yourself and find that place where you actually know beyond a shadow of a doubt that what you're saying is true. And friends, the time is now. I don't care who your God is or how you pray, what rituals you use, the time is now that we pray from the deepest pit of our souls for love, kindness, generosity, hope, and have faith that those prayers will be answered, because they will. Don't think bad thoughts. Don't think mean thoughts. Think clean, good, loving thoughts. Work on it. We're going to have to practice. Don't curse. Just love. Now this may be over the limit, over the fence, but I've never lied to you, and I won't start now. What I'm telling you is absolute truth. The time is now. Put our energy together, and I'm speaking this more to people that think like I do. The time is now. We have to change the energy of our world, of everything around us, only then will things get better. Buying into it, agreeing to it, accepting it. Ah, this is bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, the president. Oh, the world. War. Radiation. All these things that are consuming our thoughts. All these negative things, and yes, they're real things but they're consuming our thoughts and our energy. And that's like feeding the beast. We just keep feeding the beast, feeding it, feeding it, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We need to change the energy. Feed love, feed hope, forgiveness, kindness, generosity. 
the time is now. I love you all. Great big hugs. And remember when you say that, it goes out in the air. It goes through. It's an energy. A never-ending energy. It's very real. Practice. Practice. Great big hugs. Catch you guys later.